So for decades we've uh, envisioned cellular membranes as, as pure liquid. So we think about proteins moving around in the membrane, kind of like you think about you know, a dolphin floating, kind of moving through water as, as uh, being in a nice liquid environment. And we did these experiments looking very carefully at how objects in a membrane behave, and, and we find that they, they have this solid-like behavior, especially um, if they're moving very fast or if they're moving very quickly. This changes how we think about how membranes behave, and membranes in general are really important. Uh, more than a third of the human genome encodes for membrane proteins, and something like 70% of drug targets are, are uh, proteins at membranes. And the mechanics of what happens in a membrane are really important. There, there are um, proteins that make up channels of membranes that open and close, and proteins that take all kinds of mechanical signals and tell your cells what to do. Now we have this new picture of what the mechanics of that environment are. And it's kind of like if you imagined you, know, you lived in a world that, that didn't have any solids in it at all, it just had liquids, it had water and oil, and, and you grew up in this, in this universe of just liquids, and suddenly you discover that, hey, there's this new property of, of elasticity or solidity. Um, it'll just you know, change your whole view of what's possible in terms of mechanics and the environment that you live in. So there are a lot of uh, biological processes that occur at membranes, and a lot of them are very sort of mechanical in nature. You have, for example, proteins that make channels that open and close and release various chemicals or allow various things to pass through. And right now we have a very sort of phenomenological understanding of how this, this relates to disease. We know, for example, that in this disease, these channels don't work properly, or in that disease, uh, they open too readily, or something like that. But we don't have a really a mechanistic understanding of why that is. What, what is it that makes it difficult or easy for channels to open in a membrane, and, and a lot of other processes that go on. Our experiments point to a, a very different picture for that mechanical environment of these proteins, and we think that should allow us to get to sort of real understanding, okay, what is it that goes wrong in these disease processes that uh, makes it easier or difficult for, for channels to open and close, uh, what makes it easier or difficult for proteins to sense uh, mechanical stress that affects whether a cell migrates or not. So it, it should provide that, that link, that missing link in our understanding that allows us to go beyond sort of the phenomenology and say, okay, what's wrong is that we're not applying enough force to overcome like elasticity and let's try to design a drug for that or make some therapeutic for that.